Hi everyone. You know on Thursday mornings I like to give you an overview of what I've been working on and encourage you to keep crafting. Well last week I had a lot of trouble uploading. So you might notice the shadows are different. It's 6 p.m. in the evening instead of 8.30ish in the morning. And I want to give you a little summary of what I've been working on even though it's nighttime, but I'll post it on Thursday morning. I'm continuing with everyday moments. I am absolutely in love with this cartridge. I think you'll be too. Oh, they don't call them cartridges anymore. What are they called? Image sets. It's an image set put out by Close to My Heart, and we sell it on Cricut, and you can get it by going to my website, elaine.closetomyheart.com, and on the bottom of any page, if you see a Cricut icon, hit that, and you'll be able to go to what we sell on Cricut. So today's, thir today's not Thursday, <laughs> today will be Thursday, and at 11 a.m. we'll have a Zoom meeting, and I'd love you to join us if you want to craft, sit down, um, have a cup of coffee, talk with us um, while you work, that would be great. Meanwhile, let me tell you about Make-A-Wish. I'm going to start with just a little card. This is week seven of our everyday moments, and it, the original pattern for this week is a six by eight mini album page. And I like to make mini albums, but right now I have lots of birthdays to um, record since we had three in April and I mean three in May and one in June. And I decided to take it smaller and make a little card. The next birthday is in June, and here's my little Olivia up in Michigan. And I took the card and I just shrunk it down to a four and a quarter by five and a half size. And I made a little card out of the pattern, and I really like it. Then I took the six by eight, and I made an eight and a half by 11. Now, as I said, there's been a lot of birthdays. And having nine grandchildren, I usually have to do a little bit of a hustle to keep up with these growing children. This is Amelia. She turned eight in May. And she's just an absolute delight. And it was really hard not physically being with her on her birthday. But I thought I only made a single page of this because I think I'm gonna make a whole birthday album. By the time I get through nine grandchildren, I'll have a pretty good size album. And I'm thinking of having this as my cover page. And so all I did was increase the size a little bit. Then I tried something different. And I made a 12 by 12 coordinating pages. I kept the size of the eight and a half by 11, but I used the, what's it called? Now I can't think of what the button is called. It's for a slice function. I use the slice function and I sliced it halfway through and then expanded it by just increasing these lines. So the page, very, very similar to the eight and a half by 11, just sort of stretched out. But you can't just stretch out. It's better to slice it and add some clear lines so that the ripples are similar. Now at this page, I took a shortcut. I made two of these pages, took a pair of scissors, and just wiped out the words. I was trying to get rid of them and slice them, and it was just becoming complicated. Making the page wider was very easy, but getting rid of the letters weren't. So I just sliced it with a pair of scissors, and then I added my words. Now because there are so many birthdays, and I do have the cousin crew of nine, we had a, our first ever virtual birthday party. It took a lot of prep, took a lot of fun. We all had the same food, the same decorations, the same things to color, the same grab bags, no matter where you lived, they got that in the mail. And we had a little Zoom party. Uh, Zoom failed on us and we did instant message and the kids started making faces after our little cocoa and muffin party. And one of the moms captured some of the screen images of the goofy faces and costumes and effects, and it just made a wonderful page. I think it made a wonderful page. 
a little weird, but all there. Let's see. Maybe I can put these down a little, heat them up for a minute. Tell you a couple more things about these pages. Um, I use puffy tape to increase the size, uh, increase the lift of the little icon. And I did puffy tape here too. And on the card, same exact thing. I just made a smaller version. And I keep the puffy tape covered on the side so the pictures can fit in between them. Now my original idea for this week was to make this page with a lot of pictures on it using our flip flops, flip flaps. And I had taken out five by seven. They come in two orientations, um, horizontal and vertical. But the pictures I had printed were a little bit big for this page, but done better if I just changed the orientation on this page. So I did not use the flip flops. If you haven't used flip flops, I do have a separate video on my channel that shows you how I used them on week five. So that was my idea. Um, that's all there is this week. A beginning of birthday celebrations. There's another one next week we'll call Celebration. And it has balloons, and we'll just continue this theme until I get the birthdays covered. Meanwhile, I want you to keep crafting. I'd love you to join me on Thursdays at 11 a.m. on a Zoom call, meet some other crafters, and work along with us. And at that time, you can ask me questions about cricket, or close to my heart, or anything at all, or just tell me how your life's going. I think that God has blessed us so much we have to take time and count our blessings each day. And I think when we do memory pages, that helps us count those blessings. So I hope you have a great week. Contact me if need be, or want to. I'm kind of lonely here, and I'm always here. So, God bless.